Good morning students, Morris here. In the previous lecture, we discussed the some examples based on properties of cardinality. Properties of cardinality. Today we are going to see our next point is ordered pair. Today we are going to see our next point is ordered pair. Ordered pair definition of a pair A, B. A pair A, B of numbers. A pair A B of numbers is called ordered pair if the numbers in which the numbers appears in which order is important. Clear? Okay. A pair A B of numbers in which the numbers appears in which the order in which the numbers appears is important. Okay. Okay. The first point ordered pair. A pair A B of numbers. A pair A B of numbers such that the order in which the numbers appears, the numbers appears is important, is called order pair. Is called order pair A B. Again repeat I. A pair A B of numbers such that the numbers appears in which the numbers appears. Order is important. Order important apple. Order important have means this first component A, this second component B. Means order pair मधे क्या है? Order pair मधे numbers appear होता है तेंची order important है वे ठीक है? One I I repeat definition again. A pair A B of numbers, a pair A B of numbers in which the numbers appear, in which the numbers appear is important, in which the numbers appear is important is called the order pair of A B. Again, I repeat the definition. Definition not a pair A B of numbers, a pair A B of numbers such that the order in which the numbers appear is important is called the order pair of A B. Order pair of A B. Now, in that order pair A B, this order pair A B. Now, in that order pair A B, that A is called the first component of order pair. B is called the second component of order pair. B is called the second component of order pair. B is called the second component of order pair. Okay. Now, first part of the order pair. Definition, repeat I. A pair A B of numbers such that the order in which the numbers appears is important. Is important. Is called the order pair of A B. Is called the order pair of A B, and we can denote it by order pair of A B. Now, in order pair that A B, that A is called the first component of that order pair, and B is called the second component of that order pair. Now, one note is over there. One note is over there. If two order pairs, if two order pairs, order pair A B and order pair C D. Note what? This is note first. Two order pairs, order pair A B and order pair C D are said to be equal. Are said to be equal if and only if, if and only if these A equal to C and B equal to D, B equal to D. When we say that two order pairs are equal, two order pairs, order pair A B and order pair C D are equal if and only if first component of that order pair and first component of that order pair are equal. And second component of first order pair and second component of second order pair are equal. Then that time we say that these two order pairs are equal. That time we call order pair A B is equal to order pair C D. When is this possible? If and only if the first component of both the order pair is equal, means A equal to C, and second component also same, and this B equal to D. This B equal to D. This B equal to D. Then we say that these two order pairs are equal. Order pairs are equal. Order pair what? A pair A B of numbers such that the order in which the numbers appear is important. Order important. Then we say that this A B is called order pair of A B. Order pair of A B. Then note what? Order pair A B. Two order pairs. Order pair A B and order pair C D. When equal, order pair A B equal to order pair C D. क्या आपन मना रहे? If and only if first component of both the order pair is same. Similarly, second component of both the order pair is same. Then we say that these two order pairs are equal. Then we call these two order pairs are equal. Now for example, see one example over there. For example, if I take Find, find x and y, x and y when 
when we have given that 200 rupees are equal to first one is x plus 3 comma 2 which is same as second given y this y minus 3 y minus 3 we have to find here question is that find x and y we have to find the value of x and y but we have given that one condition given that one condition given as two order pairs are equal these first order pair and these second order pair are given equal yeah don't order pair equal there is and we have to find the value of x and y we have to find the value of x y x and y but we know that what do you know that if two order pairs are equal order pair a b and order pair c d are equal when if and only first component are same second component are same then by that note we can solve it by that note we will get the value of x and y solution one is here we know that first we know that we know that what we know that we know that what we know that two order pairs are equal we know that two order pairs two order pairs two order pairs order pair a b and order pair c d are equal are equal are equal if and only if if and only when it is possible first component of that order pair and first component of that order pair are same and second component of that order pair and second component of that order pair both are same then we say that these two order pairs are pure Okay. We know that. What we know that two order pairs, order pair A, B and order pair C, D are equal if and only if A equal to C and B equal to D. B equal to D. Therefore, by that note, with the help of that note, we can take this. Therefore, 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 this what x plus 3 comma 2 same as 4 y minus 3. Here, this given. Already we have given that these two order pairs are equal. Two order pairs are equal. Two order pairs they are equal. As still, they are open kind of two. By that note, therefore, that implies that implies what implies first component of that order pair and first component of this order pair are equal means x plus three, which is same as four. And what second component of that order pair is equal to second component of that order pair y minus three. Now we can solve it. That implies from that x equal to what will get x equal to these three over oh there means what four minus three. And here, this y, this minus 3 come here, means what? 2, this minus 3 here, equal to the plus 3, which is equal to y, which is equal to y. Therefore, therefore, x equal to 4 minus 3, we get x equal to 4 minus 3, we get 1. And y equal to 2 plus 3, 5. y equal to 5, we get. Therefore, we get the values of x and y. We get x equal to 1 and y equal to 5. Okay, question is Find find x and y when two order pairs are equal when the order pairs are first one is order pair x plus 3 comma 2 is same as order pair 4 comma y minus 3 we have two order pairs are equal then we have to find the values of x and y we know that therefore solution is that we know that two order pairs order pair a b and order pair c d are equal when we find only if first component of that order pair and first component of this order pair are same means a equal to c Similarly, second component of that order pair and second component of that order pair are same means b equal to d. Therefore, with the help of that note, we can take, therefore, we take these two order pairs already given it there. Already have given a question, but the other order pair same. Means already we have these two order pairs are equal. Therefore, two order pairs equal. Therefore, by that note, we get first component of that order pair and first component of that order pair are same means x plus 3 equal to 4. And second component of that order pair and second component of that order pair are same. Therefore, we get 2 equal to y minus 3. Now we can solve this. That implies x equal to this plus 3. Go RHS, therefore sign change means 4 minus 3. And here this minus 3 come here means 2 minus 3 plus 3, which is equal to y. Therefore, x equal to 4 minus 3, we get x equal to 1. And y equal to we get 2 plus 3, 5. Means we get required values of x and y, x equal to 1 and y equal to 5, which is our required answer. Now take next point. Cartesian product of two sets. Cartesian product of two sets. Now take next point is Cartesian product of two sets. Cartesian product. First, जब आपन Cartesian product के दो त्यावा दोन set non empty लगत. ठीक है. Now what is the definition of Cartesian product of two sets? Let capital A and capital B. Let capital A and capital B are the two non empty sets. Let A and B be the two non empty sets. 
देन द कार्टेशियन प्रोडक्ट देन द कार्टेशियन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ए एंड बी इज डिनोटेड बाय ए क्रॉस बी वी कैन डिनोट कार्टेशियन प्रोडक्ट बिटवीन टू सेट्स वी कैन डिनोट वी यूज द नोटेशन दिस क्रॉस ए क्रॉस बी ठीक है लेट ए एंड बी बी ए नी टू नॉन एम्प्टी सेट्स देन द कार्टेशियन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दीज टू सेट्स इज डिनोटेड बाय ए क्रॉस बी एंड इज डिफाइंड बाय इज डिफाइंड बाय सेट कंटेनिंग सेट कंटेनिंग सेट कंटेनिंग ऑल ऑर्डर पेयर्स ए बी सच दैट सच दैट ऑल ऑर्डर पेयर्स ए बी सच दैट सच दैट फर्स्ट कंपोनेंट ऑफ दैट ऑर्डर पेयर फर्स्ट कंपोनेंट ऑफ दैट ऑर्डर पेयर बिलोंग्स टू द फर्स्ट सेट ए बिलोंग्स टू द फर्स्ट सेट ए एंड सेकंड कंपोनेंट ऑफ दैट ऑर्डर पेयर बिलोंग्स टू द सेकंड सेट बी सेकंड सेट बी सेकंड सेट बी देन से दैट then the collection of all these type of order pairs means first component belongs to first set second component belongs to second set all type of these order pairs are comes in the cartesian product of these two sets these two sets i can repeat definition again definition not cartesian product of two sets cartesian product of two sets for that let a and b be two non empty sets be two non empty sets then the cartesian product of these two sets is denoted by a cross b is denoted by a cross b and is defined by and is defined by cartesian product of these two sets is the set of all order pairs a b set of all order pairs a b such that order pairs of first component belongs to the first set a and second components b belongs to the set b all the type of that order pairs are come in the cross product of or cartesian product of these two sets these two sets for example if i take for example if we take for example here for example if i take if if a equal to set containing 1 2 and b equal to set containing a b c a b c these two sets are non empty these two sets are non empty non empty now then we have to find we have to find this find then find a cross b it means cartesian product of these two sets cartesian product we have to find a cross b but we know that what we know that solution we know that we know that we know that what we know that a cross b which is equal to definition what definition what set containing all order pairs a b is such that first component of the order pair belongs to the first set a and second component of the order pair belongs to the set b it means b belongs to b b belongs to b all the collection of that order pairs therefore therefore by that therefore we know that this and here here what Here a and b all are already given. Here a equal to set containing one two and b equal to set containing a b c. These two sets we have. Therefore a cross b. Therefore a cross b, which is equal to set containing Cartesian product of these two sets. Set containing by definition set containing all types of order pair a b such that. first component of that order pair belongs to the set first a and second component belongs to set b therefore all types of these order pair therefore i can write here first one then a it means one belongs to a a belongs to b similarly i can take this one as it is second component take i b because one belongs to a this b belongs to that b then again i take one as it is one fixed and c right This one belongs to A and C belongs to B. Therefore, these order pairs also come. The next, the third one, only I can change two. Here I can take two as this. Then this A, two A. Similarly, two B and similarly two C. Similarly, two C. Which is the required Cartesian product of two sets A and B? A and B. Question is that if A equal to set containing one two and B equal to set containing A B C. Then find out Cartesian product of these two sets A cross B. Solution we know that we know that what we know that we know that Cartesian product the definition of A cross B equal to set containing all type of order pairs A B such that the first component of that order pair belongs to the set first A and second component of that order pair belongs to the second set B. 
all type of order where will come in that set therefore here we have set a equal to 1 to and set b equal to abc therefore cross product a cross b Cartesian product of A and B which is equal to set containing all types of order pair. If I take order pair, first element belongs to first set, second element belongs to second set. Means I take first element, first component 1 and second A. Just a second what I do, first component as it is, only change B. Then first as it is, only change C. Because 1 belongs to set A, C belongs to set B. Similarly, second I only change 2. 2 belongs to A and take A belongs to B. Similarly, we get 2A. Second order pair, we get 2B. And third order pair, we get 2C. Which is the required Cartesian product of two sets. Which is the required Cartesian product of two sets. Now, next point. Next point is, before I one note is over there. One note is over there. Note is that if, if, if A is empty set. If A is empty set or B is empty set. B is empty set. Then, then, then cross product or then Cartesian product of these two sets also empty. Means what? Among the two sets, A and B, any one of these or one of these two sets, don't even look on the next set empty as Third, cross product is the empty. Cross product is the empty A. Okay? If A is empty or B is empty, then cross product also empty. Then cross product also empty. Then cross product also empty. This note is important over there. Now, next, next point. Number of elements in the Cartesian product of two finite sets. Next point is number of elements in the Cartesian product of two finite sets. Number of elements means so we can denote this n of a means what? Number of elements in city. And we have to find here number of elements in Cartesian product of two sets. For that definition, for that definition, let let A and B, let A and B, let A and B be any two finite sets, here finite important, let A and B be any two finite sets with, with number of element of a set A which is equal to, if I take M1, and number of element of a set B which is equal to M2, which is equal to M2, okay, let A and B be any two finite sets with Number of element of a set A which is equal to M1 and number of element of a set B which is equal to M2. Then, then number of element in the Cartesian product of A and B. Then, then number of element in the Cartesian product of A and B which is equal to, which is equal to N of A into N of B into n of b and here already given it is that n of a given m1 and n of b given m2 n of g given m2 we get this okay number of elements in the Cartesian product of two finite sets for that first we take let a and b be any two finite sets with already given number of element of a set a which is equal to m1 and number of element of a set b which is equal to m2 then the number of elements in the Cartesian product of two finite sets then the number of element in the Cartesian product of two sets a and b which is equal to what n of a into n of b and n of b already given m1 and n of b already given m2 which is required definition for example for example suppose for example here for example let let a let n of a which is equal to or simply i take set a example first let a equal to set containing if i take 1 3 and b equal to set containing 2 3 4 set containing 2 3 4 then find then find then find you know, number of element in the Cartesian product of A and B. Then find you know, A cross B. Question is that let A equal to set containing elements 1, 3 and B equal to set containing elements 2, 3, 4. Then find you know, A cross B. You know, A cross B means what? Number of element in the Cartesian product of A and B. A and B. Now, here solution. Here first, here a equal to set containing 1, 3 
एंड बी इक्वल टू सेफ कंटेनिंग टू थ्री फोर दिस ऑलरेडी यू वांट बट वे हैव टू फाइंड एन ऑफ ए क्रॉस बी एंड वी नो दैट डेफिनेशन ऑफ एन ऑफ ए क्रॉस बी एन ऑफ ए क्रॉस बी और नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट इन द कार्टेशन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू सेट्स ए एंड बी व्हिच इज इक्वल टू डेफिनेशन ऑन एन ऑफ ए नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट इन सेट ए इनटू नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट इन सेट बी इन सेट बी मींस वे हैव टू फाइंड आउट एन ऑफ ए म्हणजे आपल्याला फाइंड आउट काय करावं लागेल एन ऑफ ए फाइंड आउट करावं लागेल एन ऑफ बी फाइंड आउट करावं लागेल ए एंड बी ऑलरेडी गिवन आहेत देयरफॉर वी कैन फाइंड therefore from that next line therefore number of element of a set a you know a which is equal to how many numbers in set a 1 and 2 therefore we can write here 2 and you know b number of element in set b number of element in set b how many 1 2 3 therefore we get you know b 3 you know b we get 3 therefore directly can take therefore you know a cross b which is equal to you know a cross b by definition we get you know a into n of b by that definition n of a into n of b which is equal to number of element in cartesian product of a already we find out this 2 into that 3 we get 2 into 3 for 6 which is required n of a cross b which is required n of a cross b question ka hota let a equal to set containing elements 1 3 and b equal to set containing elements 2 3 4 then find n of a cross b that is number of element in the cartesian product of a and b number of elements in cartesian product of a and b a find out karayacha hota but we know that what we know that number of element in cartesian product of two sets which is equal to what n of a into n of b that is n of a into n of b means solution here a equal to given 1 3 and b equal to given 2 3 4 we have to find first aplyala he hava that is aplyala kay lagnar n of a and n of b therefore next line you know a number of element in set a which is equal to 1 2 2 elements over there and number of element in set b which is equal to how many elements in set b there are 1 2 3 3 elements we get n of a n of b therefore by the definition of number of element in the cartesian product of two sets that is n of a cross b which is equal to by definition we can write it as n of a into n of b and n of a we find out here these 2 into n of b also 3 and by product 2 into 3 we get 6 which is required number of element in set cartesian product of a and b which we get required 6 times or number of element in cartesian product of a and b now take next point next point relation next point is relation next point is relation first we see the definition of relation relation first we see relation for that let 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 a and b let capital a and capital b are any two non empty sets let capital a and capital b are any two non empty sets are any two non empty sets then any subset of then any subset of a cross b then any subset of a cross b is called is called the relation from a to b is called the relation from a to b relation ji definition ka hote let capital a and capital b are any two non empty sets are any two non empty sets then any subset of then any subset of a cross b then any subset of a cross b is called the relation from a to b is called the relation from a to b and relation are always denoted by the capital letters capital letters p q r e t c etc okay relation definition of the let capital a and capital b are any two non empty sets then any subset of a cross b then any subset of a cross b is called the relation from a to b and relations are always denoted by the capital letters p q r for example for example for example if i take let a equal to set if we take let a equal to set containing 1 2 and b equal to set containing only a and b only a and b these are a and b and suppose if we we can find out or we find out a cross b 
आपण जर ए क्रॉस बी फाइंड आउट केला तर काय होईल ए क्रॉस बी कार्टेशियन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दीस टू सेट्स कंटेनिंग सेट ऑफ ऑल एलिमेंट्स सच दैट फर्स्ट कंपोनेंट ऑफ दैट ऑर्डर पेयर बिलोंग्स टू दीस एंड सेकंड कंपोनेंट ऑफ दैट ऑर्डर पेयर बिलोंग्स टू दीस इट मींस इट कंटेन 1 ए सेकंड वी गेट 1 बी थर्ड वी गेट 2a एंड 2b 2a एंड 2b दीस आर द ऑर्डर पेयर्स इन्वॉल्व्ड इन कार्टेशियन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू सेट्स ए क्रॉस बी इक्वल टू सेट कंटेनिंग दीस एलिमेंट्स now a cross b then suppose if we take this set r equal to if i take r equal to set containing 1a and for three is the 2b okay then here we observe that what we observe that every element of that r every element of that r set is also an element of that set a cross b ठीक है वन ए इत सुधा है इत सुधा है टू बी या सेट मे सुधा है या सेट मे सुधा है देन बाय द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सब सेट वी नो दैट वॉट यू नो दैट ए इज सब सेट ऑफ बी ए इज सब सेट ऑफ बी क्या मन इफ एवरी इलिमेंट ऑफ सेट ए इज ऑल्सो एन इलिमेंट ऑफ सेट बी देन वी से दैट ए इज सब सेट ऑफ बी एंड हियर ऑल्सो सेम एवरी इलिमेंट ऑफ आर इज ऑल्सो एन इलिमेंट ऑफ ए क्रॉस बी देर बोर वी से दैट आर देर बोर वी से दैट आर इज सब सेट ऑफ ए क्रॉस बी Therefore, we say that R is subset of A cross B. R is subset of A cross B. And by definition of relation, relation definition guy, that A and B are any two non-empty sets. Then any subset of A cross B is called the relation from A to B. Is called the relation from A to B. Therefore, इतना क्या होता है? हाँ, R is subset of that. Therefore, we say that this R, this R is the relation from A to B. This R is the relation from A to B. These are the relation from A to B. Now, next domain, co-domain, and range. Based on that, domain, co-domain, and range. Last one is range. Last one is range. Isn't that?